Hello everyone, Rich here, back for part 5 of this SS Great Eastern tutorial. Uh, today's focus will be the ship's masts and the sails, but I'm sort of debating whether I should do the sails or not, because there's no real design to them and I just sort of built them at random. And, uh, yeah, I'm not exactly looking forward to building those, but we're going to get the masts, or at least the first couple of masts out of the way anyway. So we're going to go uh, to the tip of the bow on the front of the ship, uh, onto the first block of wood, which is down here. And we're going to count back to the 47th block back on the wood. So let's go all the way back 47 blocks, which is that's 40 there, and that's 47 there. So on the 47th block, we should build a cross using uh, brown concrete. So I'll build a cross on there like so. So that's 47 back like so. So the center block is the 47th block. Okay. All right, so what we're going to do now, the back... Uh, the back part of the cross we're going to build up to 46 blocks high so that's uh, two there actually I'll, I'll uh, build it and then measure it as I go up so that's two high and I want to build it to four, 46 blocks high so I should quickly do that and I measure when I get to the top <clears throat> so see how high we get this one so how high is that that is 42, so 43, 44, 45, 46, there we are, so that's 46 high there, and then we want at the top, uh, 15, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, so there we are, so there's 15 up there, so it's 46 plus 15 there, like so, now what we do, we go back down to the bottom again, and the front, uh, well the front and the sides are basically there, there, and there, you're going to build up to uh, 19 high, so that's three. That's two, three, four, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. So that's 19 high there. I do the same with the sides. I do the same with the other side as well. So build them up to 19, like so. And then what we want to do then is from the top of the 19 in the centre here, we want to build up about another 15 blocks call it 10 so I'll go up 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 like that and that'll be sort of the main body of the mast like that and it should look something like that at least anyway in theory uh, so what we're going to do now that's the mast done anyway so we'll go back down to the bottom again and on the front of the mast we're going to add the crane which is uh, on the front the 13th block up so on the front go up 13 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 so that's the 13th up there and then we want to build forward 12 rows of 4 so we'll go forward 1 2 2 3 4 so there's a row of 4 there and you want 12 of those so that's 1 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I'll just measure how I'll count how many there are. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And like I say, we want twelve. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that should be twelve. I just count that. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So there we are. That's the twelve done there. And if you want to, you can add the uh, cable coming down to. Uh, connect the uh, we can see it over there in the distance it's sort of a, a chain and weight if you like <laughs> as a crane basically so if we get uh, iron bars because that's what I used previously and use I think it was what did I use I think I used uh, I thought I would use anvils but it can't be because anvils don't float they fall um, that doesn't really matter we use we use handrails anyway and build down from the end of the mat from the end of the crane build down about 10 so one two three Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then at the end of that you can put anything. So I'll put put a couple of blocks of black on the end like that. There we are. So that sort of act as the hook and pulley if you like. So that's that's that little job done there. <clears throat> now what we want to do is go to the back of the mast and add the spurs which will support the first sail, which I'm sort of debating whether to do or not. So we'll go to the back. Uh, we want to go from the back we're going to go up to the seventh block up so two three four five six seven and we want to build uh, back four so one two three four like that 
and then we want seven rows of three going diagonally out. So it doesn't matter which way, whether you go left or right, but as long as you've got diagonal seven rows of three. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. How many is that? That's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, one, two, three. And there we are. There's seven rows of three plus the four going out to the side like that. So, like I said, it doesn't matter whether you go left or go right. As long as you've got the sail attached to it in one way or the other, you should be okay. Right, so that's that one done. Now, we got, what from the uh, where the mar where that spur goes out, we're going to count up now to uh, the 15th block up. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then we want uh, one block there, one block there like that. And then you want to go up 15 rows of 3. Now this is sort of, you look on the prototype, they're sort of vertical diagonal rows of 3 up. And you want 15 of those. So we want 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. How many is that? That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I want 5 more of those. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And there we go, that's that top part of the mast done there. So well, that's mast number one pretty much done. You can add more detail to it, like the black band around the top, which would go up to the top then. Just see it on the prototype over there, sort of a, a ring of black blocks around the top. Doesn't matter where exactly, as long as it's on there. And that's our little job done there. And then for the sail, I really don't know what to do about the sail because, like I say, it's not a pretty design. But if I just if I just jump to it a second, jump to the where's it gone? Oh, there it is. So there's the sail of the prototype, and it's it's not a pretty design, I'll admit. You know, it's it's just that. I mean, it, I I really don't know how to explain how to design these because it's. It's not something I, I do normally. I mean, sail ships are completely above me. Um, so that's the first sail anyway. I think what we'll do, I'll go over to the prototype, uh, no, I'll go over to the build, sorry, and I'll try and do one from scratch at random. And it will be at random, I guarantee that. So we'll try, we'll try something anyway. So go from the top spur here. Go down one, two, three, and remove the top block. And then go down three, four, five... I'm just going to try and build out diagonally out to the uh, end of there. So that's five. One, two, three, four, 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 five. <gasps> one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And I think I'm going to run out of space. Yeah, I'm going to run out. Uh, so yeah, I don't really know what to do here. Um, so I'll try again. So that's five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, 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 five, six, seven. And we're sort of attached to the mat, uh, to the spare at the bottom there. Hang on. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, you sort of get an idea. And uh, what we can do then, go back to the mast or to the top of the sail and sort of build down uh, rows of three if we like. So threes diagonally, sort of following the contours of the uh, of the beam. Don't know the technical name for it, but I'll just go with it. Uh, in this last section, we just go down. Right down to the bottom there. So you've got a gap between the mast and the sail. And I suppose the next row, if we go from the first row, it's flat, and then the next row we can sort of build. Like so. Something like that. And then the next row we can sort of build. So we've got to build three and three, I suppose, haven't we? It's it's all 
it's all a random thing. Like I said, I really don't know how to sort of interpret this very well. It's all trial and error, so I'm just sort of designing things as we go along. And just sort of testing as we go along, if you know what I mean. So that's kind of like that one. And you sort of get an idea. I mean, it, it, like I say, it's all just trial and error. I mean, I really don't know what I'm doing anyway, so. It's uh, it's up to you how you want to interpret this. I just have to carry on trying to get this sale done and see how it ends up at the end. Like I say, it's it's all trial and error, and I don't want to I don't want anyone to take this as canon because I, I I really don't want to sort of mess this up and then everyone else you know fuck it up as well. I will just try and get this first one done. I mean the 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 big sales I'm probably get them all done. They're not they're not as much of a problem, but these side sales. Because they sort of flow in three different directions, it's not, it's not an easy one to try and explain. So that's uh, sort of done. We can just add a few more flaps to it, like so. The next row down as well. <coughs> Come on, trying to do this properly. And yes, yeah, it's, it's it's taking shape a bit, but it's I would say it's <laughs> it's it's debatable how you want to interpret this. I mean, as I'm being honest, yeah, I know I'm not. This isn't my thing. Sail, sail ships are not my thing. I mean, liners are, are so much easier. I blame Syrup Gaming for this. He asked me to do the, the Great Eastern. <laughs> so he's taking that. He can take the blame for all this. Um, so yeah, there's sort of the the first mockings of a of a sail. Don't quote me on that one. So that's that's all I'm going to do for that sail because if I just keep carrying on, I'm just going to bore people to death. So. Yeah, that's that's mast one done with a partial sail. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do a jump cut when I finish that off some sort of way, and then we'll move on to to mast number two and three, and then uh, we'll move on. So um, back in a moment. Okay, back again. So I've added that uh, what you call a sail there, and it sort of looks something like that. Apologies for it not looking as beautiful as it could have been. I mean, even that over there is not brilliant. Uh, but you can interpret the sale however you want. These are just sort of vague, shitty things if you want to make a deal of it. Anyway, that's that job done there. So what we're going to do now is go to the second deck house just in front of funnel number... No, uh, well, front of the first funnel. Uh, and then we're going to go to the front of the deck house, which is here. And we're going to leave a one block gap. And then we're going to add the cross. So this will be mast number two. So there we go. That's where mast number two will go. And then for mast number three, wherever that goes, will be 58 blocks back from this from this same area. So go from the back of the of this mast here, and count 58 blocks back, which is that's 55, 56, 57, 58. So 58 blocks back will be just behind the raised platform, just in front of or well, just in front of the uh, raised walkways, just behind. Uh, the raised platform there, so that's where funnel number three will go. Now funnel two and three, um, sorry, mast two and three, which are the big ones with the big sails on, they are the, exactly the same. So whatever we do with the mast number two, we do with the same with mast number three. So what we do now for mast number two, <coughs> what we want to do is the back row, the back block here. We're going to build up to 59 high. So that's the first block at the bottom there. And we're going to build the back up to 59. And this will take a little while because I can't be bothered to count it by hand, but I'll count it by mind. I'm just going to free build it. So that's 49, so we want another 10. How many is that? That's 56, 57, 58, 59. So there we are. That's 59 high there. And then after that, we want two rows of 10. So 1, 
2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And there we are. There's mask number 2. Almost done. So what we do now, go back down to the bottom. And then for the sides and the front, uh, we want to build up to 20. So, so the side build up to 20. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Do the same on the other side and the front. Build up to 20. Like so, and then the front as well. Like so. And then for the uh, next row up, which is in between those rows of 20, or on top of those rows of 20, we just add another 20. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. There we go. So that's that one done there. All right, so that, that little job done. Now, what we do now, go back down to the rows of 20 at the bottom. So the rows of 20 down here. At the top of that row of 20, on the side, we're going to build outwards uh, 24. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So 24 there. And the same on the other side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4. So there we go. There's 24, 24, like so. So that's that one there. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, And then how do we want to do this one? So what we're going to do then... Uh, let me just, just sort of work out this one a minute. So what we're going to do now is go to the top of the 59, which is all the way up here. And we're going to count down to the uh, 12th block down. No, hang on. I'm trying to work out, actually. Yeah, so from the 59, top up here, count down to the 12th down. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then we build out 25. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, so there there's 25 out there. And the same the other side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So there we are. That's both those spurs done there. And then what we're going to do then is go up to the bottom row of 10, so we've got these two rows of 10 here, and we're going to go to the uh, bottom row of 10, we want to go to the 8th up from the bottom, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then we build out 19, no hang on, we build out 18, uh, hang on, I'm just going to work out this one a minute, hang on, bear with me, hang on, yeah, so 8th up, and then we want to build out 18, so yeah, that's 8th up and then out 18. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Same on the other side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And there we go. There's that top spur done like that. And it should look something like that, in theory. Right, now we need to go down to the bottom of the 59. So right down to the bottom of the back row, which is the 59, which is here. We're going to count up to the 19th block up. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And what we do want to do then on the back of the 19, build back 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we want uh, 7 rows of 3 diagonally out. So... 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so 7 rows of 3 out like so. Bit of a silly design because the funnel's in the way, but, you know, no big deal there. So that's that one done there. And then what we're going to do then is go back down to the top, or back down to that row of 4 again. And we're going to count up. Uh, we want to count up 15 up, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Then we want to build 1, and then we want to go up 16 rows of 3. So, one, uh, so that's 1 row, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 
13, 14, 15, 16. So there we are, 16 rows of three diagonally up like that. So that is where the where that other sail goes. So you've got a large sail there, you can just see it in the prototype over there. You've got a large sail that will go in there. So that is <coughs> all that gobbledygook done there. And that is the same design you're going to need for mast number three. And I'm not looking forward to doing this one. I think I'm yeah, I think mask number four is the same as well, but I just go over to uh, yeah, if we go over to the large deck house between funnel three and four, and what we do then, go to the centre of the top of the deck house. So I'm just trying to work out the centre. There's the centre. We cut a hole in the get in the top there, a cross shape, like so. So it's in the centre of the of the deck house, and then the the next mast, which is the same as mast two and three, but without the horizontal parts. So you're going to do that same design, like I say, minus those horizontal parts on the, on for mast number three. So mast number three will go in the middle of that deck house there. So you do that same design. You can just see over there in the prototype the same design, just minus the horizontal parts. So that is that bit done there. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do a jump cut while I get mast number two and three in place, and then we can sort of try and add the sails. So uh, yeah, back in a moment. Okay, back again. So there's mast two, three, and four now in place. Now I remember what I said. Mast two and three, I've got the horizontal parts. Mast number four does not, but they're all virtually the same in height. Otherwise, same height and same back spur, just minus the horizontal parts. Like I keep saying. Right. So now we're going to try and add the big sails. Now I'm not going to bother with those hor uh, those uh, triangle sails because I've already done one and I it looks bloody terrible. So I'm going to leave that up to you. If you can, if you can do it, then. By all means, because it's not a fun thing to do. Right, so what we're going to do is go to the very top of the, or well, go to the top spur on uh, mass number one, uh, number two, sorry. And what we're going to do uh, <coughs> is go from the centre with white. We're going to count or build about four forward, I think. So uh, one, two, three, four, like that, and remove three blocks. And then we're going to build out. Three or two. Build out. Build out three. Sorry. So go out one, two, three, and then out four. One, two, three, four. Make it five, and then one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five. And like I say, that's just a random number. So what we'll do, we'll readjust that now. So I'll make this uh, four, and then make that five. Make that five, and then make that five, and that comes just inside the end of the of the mass. So I was just readjusting it. So from the centre we build out four and then five 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 like so. And it should look something like that. Now from the edges, or at least do the other side first, it depends how you want to do this. So do the other side. So one, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, five, one, two, two, three, four, five. So that's the other side. So you've got a sort of bow shape if you like. Now, either from the edges or from the uh, from the middle, it's up to you how you want to do this. But I'm going to go from the middle. Now we're going to go from here. And what we're going to do is to build down, and I did write this down, but I can't remember where. <laughs> so bear with me. I've got my notes right. So what we're going to do is go down uh, two, so that's, or one basically. So the top ones are already one. So add another block down, and then we want three down. One, two, three. And then we want uh, four, one, two, three, four, and then five, one, two, three, four, 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 five, and then four, one, two, three, four. And now back on the back of that, we want down three, one, two, three, and then down two, one, two, and down two again, one, two, like so. And that's the uh, center of the uh, sail. Now that same design, you want to do that same thing on every block underneath the top of the sail, so that goes all the way out to the side. Now, I'm going to try and do this as best I can, so what I'll do, I'll go along to the next row, which will be uh, this block here, so do the same again, so down one and then down two. No, so down one and then down three, sorry, so it's three, and then four, one, two, three, four, and then five, one, two, three, four, five. Four, one, two, three, four. Then on the back of that, about three, one, two, three, and then two and two, like so. Then go to the next row, which is 
uh, might as well go to the end of it. So we go here, add one block, and then down three, one, two, three, then four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, four, one, two, three, four. Back on the back, three, one, two, three, two, three, and then one, two, one, two, like so. And that just attaches to the bottom spur, like so. And that is sort of how we lay it, lay it out. So what we're going to do. I'm going to go back to the centre, build the centre row out so it follows the contours of the top row like so. So just build each row of the sail like so. Now I'm cutting corners a little bit here because I'm not doing the very uh, the row that connects to each section. I'm just doing the ones that are visible. there's the middle section done like that and then the next row along it is one block forward so we do the next row along oops sorry damn it like so just following the contours uh, it's all about just it's basically tracing the uh, previous row if you know what I mean it's it's complicated to explain and I'm you know I'm not explaining this video very well because of the complexity of these bloody sails. I mean, I'm not a sail designer, I'm, I'm just a bloody basic shipbuilder. Sails are not my sort of thing. And there we go, there's the next row done. You can see it's, it curves, curving backwards. And then the next row we do the same again. Just follow the contours of the row above. And then the next row's along. I'm going to try and do as much of this as I can on camera because I just don't want to uh, alienate too many people. And one more row, wouldn't it? That's that row done there. And then the last row, which is the uh, outside edge, we just follow the contours there again as well. So it's not a, like I said, it's not a brilliant design and it's not very well thought out. And I'm just making as many excuses as I can. But I do apologise in advance because, as I say, I've gone into this tutorial sort of blind because I don't really know how to do this sort of thing. And I won't be doing any more, that's for sure, uh, certain. Uh, so anyway, there's the last row going out to the side there and that is that sail sort of done that's half of it done anyway and the other side will be exactly the same so it's basically just going from the center and then curving back like so and it doesn't look too bad I mean it's it, you know it could be better but you know it's, it's as good as it's gonna get and what I do I quickly copy that to the other side uh, using weld edit so I quickly copy from that point and then I copy flip and paste it to the other side so copy to this point here then we we'll do our usual copy, flip, and then we paste. And there we go, there's the other side done. So that's the first sail done. That's the top sail, top big sail. And you do the same, that, that same design on mast number three, okay? If you can follow that design or do your own thing because, like I keep saying, I'm not a bloody sail designer. This is just random shit for me. So I'm sort of just trying to cover myself. Um. But yeah, it's it's not pretty, but it will have to do. So that is that first sail done there. Now for the next sail, which is the bigger one, I'm going to go over to the prototype here and measure it out first because I don't know how I do this one. <coughs> so we go over to the prototype, and we want to go. So where's the centre? So there's the centre there. We want to go about uh, one, two, three, four blocks forward. We want to go out three, and just three. Eight, eight, nine. So, yeah, we'll try and do that. So, we'll go back to the center again, or go back to the, the build. And it's one down from the top. No, it is from the top of, or from the, from the uh, center of the um, middle 
beam. So we build one, two, three, four forward, like so. And then what was it? It was out. No, it's just below the, the beam actually. We we'll just go below the beam and go one, two, three, four like that. So you've got a gap between the top and the bottom sail. Remove those blocks there. And then we want to build out three. One, two, three. And then it was eight, eight, nine, wasn't it? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Out to the sides like so. And if it if it uh, doesn't look too bad, what you can do, you can extend the top sail if you want to, so it goes a bit further out. It's up to you how you want to do it. But I'll do the other side quickly. So it's three out, one, two, three, and then the eight, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Like so. And what we're going to do now is go back to the center and we're going to build the sail down and just do the same sort of process again, but on a larger scale. So what we want to do then is build one down from the center and then we want five, one, two, 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 three, four, five. And then six, one, two, three, four, five, six, six again, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then five, one, two, three, four, five, and then behind that we want five, one, two, three, four, five, and then four, one, two, three, four, and then two, one, two, like that. And it should sort of look something like that. And then what you want to do is just build that same design going out to the side. So basically just follow the contours of the row above. I'll just do the top half of this cell, otherwise I'd be here all day doing this. So there's the top half done. And you just follow the contours along to the next row. So it's the same process as before on the previous cell, it's just on a bigger scale, like I keep saying, so try and do this as idiot proof as possible. But idiot proof I mean me. Uh <laughs> And then the next row, of course. And like I say, I will not be doing the sailing ships again after this. So that's the first row. I'll follow the contours down for the next row. And you sort of get the idea, in theory anyway. It is a complicated thing. And I apologise in advance for this really badly worked out plan. Like I keep saying, I ain't a sale designer. Like I say, you sort of get the idea. Just carry on that same process all the way down to the bottom that bottom sail anyway and uh, it shouldn't look too bad that's the theory anyway I mean I'm, I'm pretty lying but there we go so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a jump cut when I try and get these sails attached to the other mast and all completed and then we can move on from there so uh, yeah back in a moment okay back again so I managed to add the sails to uh, both masts and it should look something like that in theory anyway but uh, like I say I'm not a sail designer and I'm not taking pride in what I've just created but you know it don't, it don't look too bad but like I say you, you can adjust it as much as you want and it may look a million times better than what I've done but anyway that's those two done there so it's only for those two masts uh, mast two and three that you add those big sails onto but anyway that's that so what we're going to do now is add mast add the next two masts so we're going to go behind funnel number five and you can see on the prototype over there you got the two last masts so funnel number five is here, and we're going to go to the sixth block behind funnel number five. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and we'll add a cross like so. And then what we want to do is on the back of that cross, we want to build up to 60, so 60 high, so I should measure as I go along. So build it to 60, up like so. How far is that? That is 37. That should be 60 by now, and that is 55, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60. So that's 60 high there. And then after that, we want to go and add 14 up. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And there we go, that's that last one done there. So what we're going to do now is go back down to the bottom of the 60. And for the sides and the front, we want to build up 
19, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And the same with the front and the side, the other side. Like so, and then the front as well. Like that, and then the next row would have built up 20, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Like so, so that's the uh, trunk of the mast done. And then what we do, we go back down to the bottom and we're going to build the uh, spurs that support the sail. Then we're going to go to the uh, 26th block up from the bottom. So from the from the bottom of the 60, build up, or count up to the 26th, which is uh, that one there. So there's 26 there. And then we want to add uh, four back. So one, two, three, four. And then we want seven rows of three diagonally out to the side so one two three 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 so there's our seven rows of three and then from back back to the mast and we want to go back up to the 15th up from there so up 15 which is 10 11 12 13 14 15 and then we want to build one back and then we want to go up 16 rows of three so one two so that's sorry that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen and there we go there's sixteen rows of three there and it should look something like that and once once again you add another large sail in there a triangle sail in that section there and uh, it won't look too bad. Like I say, I'm not going to do any more sails because they look shite, the ones I've done. And then what we want to do now is go back down to the base of that mast. And we're going to count back now. And we're going to add the f uh, the last mast. So from the back of this mast here, I'm going, to leave, I'm going to count back 46 blocks back. So there's block one there. And we're going to count back 46 blocks. And I don't know exactly where we're going. So it's 26. Uh... So we want 46 that way, so how fast that is. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. On this 46th block back, we'll add the cross again. And I'll just measure to make sure that it's 46. And there we go, that's 46 blocks back, so then we want to add that cross. <coughs> Excuse me. And on the back, we want to build up to its 52 in height. So that's block 1, and we'll build up to 52. And uh, everything should be all hunky dory. How far is that? That is 53. So we remove one and then we have 52. <laughs> and at the end of the 52, we want to build up uh, 15. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And there we go. And that's that mast there. And then we go back down to the bottom again. We want to build the sides and the front of the cross up to uh, 18. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And the next row, 18 as well. So I, I'll do the other sides first in the front, and then we'll do the other 18 up. Like that. And then the last row on the front. So that's the bottom rows of 18, and then we add another 18 up. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And that's the trunk of the mast done. Then we go back down to the bottom again. Then we count up from the bottom to the 17th block up, so I just count up, so that's 10, 15, 16, 17, there's 17 there, and we build back 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then the 7 rows of 3 again, so 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, hang on, that's 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, there we go, that's the 7 rows of 3. And then again, we want to go up from the back, back to the mast. We're going to go back up to the 15th up. So that's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then we want to build one back. And then we want to go up 16 rows of three again. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 and there we go that's that mast 
pretty much done there. And as before, you add the uh, large triangle uh, sail in there if you want to. So that is that little job done there. I'll say it's a little job. It's quite a big job what we've done, but I do apologies, apologise, whatever, for the uh, lack of understanding of what we're doing. Anyway, an extra bit of detail we can add to the mast is the black rings around the top, or around the top section of the mast. Uh, that's the last mast there. We do the next one along, add the black ring around that. Doesn't matter where exactly, as long as you get a bit of detail. And it shouldn't look too bad. And then the next one along, <coughs> add the black ring around like so. And then the same with the other two. And there will be more uh, sail detail going on to the mast later on, but we're not going to bother with that today. Because it just takes too long. I'm sort of dra mentally drained doing this because the masts are a real fucktard with this thing. Uh, but anyway, there's the uh, sails and the mast done there. A bit more detail if you want is to connect the sails to the mast. Uh, if we go to the top up here, we can add a few uh, black sections to connect the sail. I'm probably not do it as bold as that, but a couple of black blocks to connect each section like so. Like so, so it actually looks like it's attached to something. So there's three prongs there, another one there, and another one there, I think. And there we go, there's that one, and a bit more, a bit further down, we do the same again. Add two there. Add a couple more there. And then down to the bottom again. There we go, that's the first mast done. We can do the same on the other mast, but I'll do that later on. Because um, it's the same detail, but I don't want to get too much into it. Um, and I think we'll call it a day with that one, so I'm not going to bother doing any more today. But we've still got another part to go, which will probably be the finishing touches, which will be, like I said, the extra details to the masts. Uh, handrails, uh, decking details, lifeboats, rudder and propellers. Or propeller. Uh, lifeboat davits and gantries. Um... I think that's pretty much it. I don't think there's a lot more to do in terms of detailing. Uh, so yeah, it's not too bad. Um, apart from the god-awful sails, this, the ship doesn't look too bad. So um, yeah, I think we'll call it a day with that one. So I'm going to leave it for today. So this is part five over and done with. So then we'll leave it at that. So for part six, like I say, will be the finishing touches. And then we can call it a day completely then. So yeah, that's it. So this is Rich signing off, logging off, disappearing. And apologies again for the... Uh, lack of enthusiasm with this one and we should leave it at that so I shall return in part six so bye for now